conversation last night just talking about teaching and coaching and mentoring and, and training. And I think one of the biggest things that I don't spend enough time on is teaching my kids how to pin. You really don't spend enough time. I, I told you I, I hung back after I did that one session at Wabash and John Smith came in the next day and he even talked about it. He said, we don't, we don't know how to pin. At the collegiate level, we don't know how to pin. He actually talked about a couple guys on his team that all of you guys know and he was like, these guys don't know how to pin. They literally don't know how to pin a guy. All right? They don't know all the little fine techniques. So that's what we're doing today. We're going we're to learn how to pin guys. All right? So the biggest thing I've got to think about is what does this guy need to fight off his back? How do you fight off your back normally? What do you do? Bridge. Now, how do you bridge? With his head and his feet. Right? So knowing that when I put him on his back, he's got to get his feet in the mat, which we talked about once or twice this camp, and he's got to get his head in the mat, then I've got to make sure that I'm taking care of those things. So now I'm going to kick, and instead of tilting them, we're going to float over the top. So we're going to start from the very beginning. We're going to double thigh pry and jam. All right? I'm going to wrap claw or half. I don't care which one you like. You're eventually going to switch to your half because we're going to pin them with the half. But you can start claw. I'm going to go to the half every single time. We're going to float, 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 float. It's our crab ride position. When we get here and I get ready to kick, high hand side's always going to kick. Bottom toe's always going to trap. But when we did that little tripod drill, I'm coming your way, guys. When we kicked over the top, I'm going to kick, keep kicking over the top until I get to this tripod position. Does everybody see that? <coughs> see how I kind of kicked over the top and got to this tripod position? When I get here, my foot's still behind his leg. When I get here, I'm gonna hold for my count. I don't go ahead and float. Most of the time we get here and try to float, this guy rubber shoulders down and we lose our whole turn, okay? So what I wanna do is make sure when I kick over the top and float, I hold that position and get my points. I hold that position and get to my points, all right? So either I got here with my claw or I got here with my half, I'm going half. <coughs> High inside kicks, kick into my half, all the way over the top. Right here, I'm in my tripod. This is criteria, I'm getting my count. I have the bottom wrist. Now, we have a couple options here, all right? I like changing feet, changing feet, then coming outside, and then circling this leg to me. Can he bridge here? Really tough, if he can bridge out of this, I probably need to call Tom out and go get some type of weapon, all right? If he can get out of that, I might need to whoo, get one of these and go, go find me some type of sharp object, all right? So I'm coming over the top to my tripod, holding for my count, and then I'm adjusting for my fall. See it is underneath. I'm in my fall, I'm in my fall. Can't change to my half, all the way over the top, right here. All the way over the top. Now, if I change feet and I lose the leg, so this leg's away, I go left hip down in the shoulder and I pull his hip with my elbow right here. Left hip down in the shoulder right here. Not right hip down. Outside hip down. I pull his hip with my elbow. Again, all I got to do is hold him there for two seconds. Okay, you younger guys, it's two seconds. You older guys, college, it's, it's super quick. Okay, get up, are you? So you can see it. Uh, face this way. So I'm in my crab ride. And I want you to start all the way from the top with your jam and everything. I'm just doing this at the same time. Whether I'm claw or started half, same thing. I'm high hand side kicking all the way over my bottom shoulder. Right here. I got him crunched up pretty good. All right? See how my left toe that was behind his leg stayed there. And then I just trade feet. Crazy feet. I want to scoop this leg if I can. If I lose it, I'm still going shoulder down or left hip down in the shoulder, and I'm just resting right here. Okay? I'll still get him. Okay, I got him in a bad spot. All right, keep that wrist nice and tight. My elbow should be clamping to his hip. Just stack him up. Feet should be poking up towards the air. Any questions? What's up, dude? One more.